Hello, I am J Dog John Karshboom. I'm out here with Mr. Dave. He's wearing a yellow shirt too. <laughs> nice choice of wardrobe today, Mr. Dave. Yeah, we look like bananas. We look like bananas, he's saying. Um, hey, I want to do some shout outs, but I want to get into black and blue. Some very, very cool plants that just arrived, and so I thought maybe it might help you uh, with some some special spots for you that you need something a little bit different. Let's say hello to Michelle, Michelle Shambliss. I swear we said Michelle to, we said hello to Michelle Shambliss before. Mr. Dave? I'm not sure. <laughs> He's not sure. Don't you remember these things? Um, anyway, hi Michelle. And to Kate Arsenault and to Juanita Williams. Juanita, those pictures of your daughter at the beach are adorable. You've obviously done a great job. Congratulations. And to Cynthia Christie, all the way from Brogan, Oregon. Do you know where Brogan is? I don't have a clue. And I've lived in Oregon all my life. I am ashamed. And to Jessica Stephanie Farrell. So, hi guys. I hope it brings something good to you and uh, at least a little bit helpful. At least it hopes to, uh, at least we hope to be a little bit helpful. Sorry about the bad language. Um, Okay, we're talking about some black and blue. I want to show you some really cool plants. At least I think they're cool. Which one should we pick out for first, Mr. Day? Uh, let's do the heuchera. The heuchera. Now let's do the heuchera. And it's heuchera, heuchera, and it is spelled like huchera. So let's see if you can't focus in on that. Is that coming out clear? This particular one, I wanted to point this out because there's, of course, Hookeras have been bred quite a bit as of late, and there's so many gorgeous, gorgeous colors. There's hundreds of varieties on there. And what makes these famous, by the way, is that generally they are evergreen perennials, meaning that they'll, they'll be uh, looking good even in the wintertime. Although the purple plum varieties are much, much tougher than, say, the lime green um, or even the orange orange varieties. It seems the lighter the color. L lighter the color, the, the, heart, the, the, the more winter beaten they get, become. Although they do pop back um, great anytime. A few pointers on this guy. This one's called obsidian because it is so, so dark. So uh, a great one to do if you don't want that dark, um, that dark accent. Now, if uh, these can go out in the sun or they can sit in the shade, so either or. What happens on these guys, if they're in the sun, is they'll start, and, and they don't get enough water, they'll start burning right here on the edges. So if you see any of that edge burn, just up that watering, and they should be just fine. If you come back from vacation, and, and they're just burned to a crisp, shear them, <laughs> shear them back down, and um, shear them back down, and they'll just pop pop again. They'll just, they'll just relief out again. So anytime it looks bad, just um, give it a good haircut. Now, some folks ask me about these blooms on here, these long armed blooms. Some folks buy the heuchras for their blooms. For me, I'm a big foliage guy, so I pluck them right off. So it keeps them a little bit more compact. So anyway, a couple choices to do. Keep, um, you, um, pluck the blooms or not pluck the blooms. Anyway, obsidian heuchera, a, a great one to put together. Now look at these two together. Isn't that cool? Do you think that's really cool? Like that. That's just amazing to me. So this one here is an eringium. This is called sapphire blue. I don't know. If, can you get that small print there? Maybe get this in the... Look at that. How cool that bloom is. It is just... This is uh, known as a sea holly. And a great one, too, to put in. It's a very dependable perennial, loves the sunshine. It's actually quite drought tolerant as well. So now don't expect these guys to be split up and, and, um, and taken cuttings off of these. Uh, not cuttings, but to, to split them up and put them in different areas because they really grow with a tap root. So pretty much plant the one that you like. They get bigger and fuller, um, but then plant another one wherever you want them again. But gorgeous, gorgeous blooms on these guys. And the last one I've got here is a salvia. And there's a lot of different varieties of perennial salvias. I mean, and salvias generally, by the way, on the perennial types, very, very dependable. This is a, uh, I, I, want, I wanted to use the word bulwark. 
Now, that seems strong, doesn't it? Bulwark. But that's like a, but that means something completely different. Anyway, very dependable. They're great dependable um, uh, perennials, meaning they come back dependably every year. But this one's called Cardona. What really makes this one stand out is that really dark stem. And if you notice, really, uh, it, it almost has kind of a neon blue bloom when it's opened up, but it really has a violet purple or uh, what we say a purple. This is more of a purple bud on that. So you get you get deep dark, you get purple, and you get this violet bloom all together. So a neat one in containers or a neat one in the ground. So huh? And they look great together, as Mr. Dave would say. So anyway, I hope that helps. I hope that gives you some ideas in your garden adventure. So here's the quote today. If you didn't get anything from it, it is as you become more clear about who you really are, you'll be better able to decide what is best for you the first time around. Thank you very much, Oprah Winfrey. That's the show for today. Always live your passion. See me right out of the sunset.